As the release date of Fallout 4 draws closer and closer, it's becoming a little bit more clear exactly what the game's gonna focus on, and it appears the game will feature a look at the pre-war world of Fallout in much greater detail than we've seen before. So, we thought it'd be a great time to check out what we know already. A few weeks ago, we took you through some of the many references that are hidden in Fallout's pre-war products. That's not all there is. Many aspects of the series' pre-war companies also happen to contain a few not quite obvious references. Anyone who has played Fallout New Vegas probably remembers the Bright Brotherhood, a cult of ghouls with a rocket ship living in an abandoned test site. Man, that sounds really weird when you say it out loud like that. Anyway, what you probably don't know is that the test site is actually based on a real location. In the game, the rocket engineering and production company of Nevada, called Repcon Aerospace for short, specialized in rocket fuel manufacturing for the US military. This mirrors the real-world Pacific Engineering and Production Company of Nevada, or PEPCON, who also produced rocket fuel for the military in the 1980s. These days, though, the company is only remembered for one thing, the tragic PEPCON explosions, which caused the death of two people in 1988. Not only are the constant explosions at Repcon a reference to this event, but the location of the Repcon headquarters, Henderson, Nevada, was also the site of the infamous PEPCON plant. In a previous episode, we discussed Poseidon Energy and their weapon system, Archimedes. One thing we didn't bring up, though, was Poseidon's solar power plant, Helios-1. Like Poseidon and Archimedes, Helios is also a reference to ancient Greece. Helios was the titan personification of the sun, and in Greek, the word Helios literally translates to sun. That's not all, though. The tower in Helios-1 is said to be based on a very similar tower in Southern California's Solar-2 power plant, which was demolished in 2009. However, the location of Helios-1 may be a reference to a completely different solar power plant, the Nevada Solar-1, which is located around where Novak would be in Nevada if it actually existed. One strange thing about Fallout is that the single most popular character in the game isn't really a character at all. He's the mascot of a fictional company. The Vault Boy is beloved by Fallout fans everywhere for providing a little ironic pep and cheer to a pretty depressing setting. The inspiration for Vault Tech's Poster Boy is actually taken from another iconic mascot. According to the lead programmer of the original Fallout, Tim Kane, the artist behind the Vault Boy was told to simply draw something that reminded them of the Parker Brothers' Mr. Monopoly. This led to the creation of Vault Boy's very early concept art. Oh, and here's a bonus piece of trivia you may not know about. Vault Boy has also appeared in a game that has nothing to do with Fallout. No, not Rage. Though he does make a small cameo in that game too, it's actually the 2002 console game Run Like Hell, Hunt or Be Hunted, where he appears on the Pip-Boy protein bars. This is because the game was made by the original Fallout developers, Interplay. While searching the computer terminals of the h, h Tool Company in Fallout New Vegas, you may stumble upon an HR email sent to employees of the company saying that anyone found associating with players of Tragic the Garnering will be terminated. This is obviously a reference to Magic the Gathering, but it's also a callback to Fallout 2, where the player sees the game being played. The game even parodies specific cards found in Magic. Vox Mubi is a play on Mox Ruby, and Black Dahlia is a direct reference to Black Lotus. This just goes to show how nerdy Interplay and Obsidian really are. The Bad Comments Showcase! It's not just for the viewers' choice episodes anymore! We love checking out the weirdest comments on our comment section so much that we wanted to start expanding it to every installment of Fallout Hidden History. So today, we have a very understated and informative comment from Swag Gert, who took the time to chime in and say, I like trains. Thanks for that, Swag. No idea what that has to do with Fallout, really, but sure, I like trains too. And now before you go, we have a brief word about a sponsor of ours. Wait, hold on. Uh, before I get started, uh, cue, the, cue the cutest sponsorship music. All right, I feel all sponsory now. This episode of Hidden History was sponsored by Opinion Outpost. Here's the gist of it. Opinion Outpost is a website where you can give surveys on different things. Research companies need honest feedback on stuff like TV shows, movies, bags of chips, and politics, and they're willing to pay for it. You fill out surveys, get points, and redeem said points for cash or Amazon and iTunes gift cards. Oh, and with each survey you take, you get entered into a $10,000 giveaway. So, if you're opinionated like I am and interested in getting paid for it, check out the link in the description or head to OpinionOutpost.com. You thought you knew Fallout, but hopefully you learned just a thing or two more. 
Do you know any other historical or literary references we didn't cover here? Share them in the comment section below and we might include it in a future episode. If you like hidden history, don't forget to like and subscribe for more! Ooh.